with a dyslexia quiz. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read each statement and then I'm going to ask for a show of hands on whether you think the statement is true or false. Okay? So the first one is, you can tell children have dyslexia from the types of spelling errors they make. Do people believe that's true? Hands up. (laughs) Oh dear, people are a bit... You do. (laughs) False? Right, you'd actually be right. It is actually false that you can tell whether children are dyslexic from the type of spelling errors they made. There's been some very interesting research from Rebecca Treeman in the States. And what what she did was to analyse the spelling errors of children with dyslexia. And she compared them with the spelling errors of typically developing children who had the same reading age and found that actually there were no differences. So children with dyslexia obviously have spelling problems, but they don't tend to make different sorts of spelling errors to younger children who have a comparable spelling age. So that's actually quite interesting, because that that is a myth that goes around, that children with dyslexia make lots of non-phonetic spelling errors. But that turns out not to be true. The second statement is, all children with dyslexia have exceptional talents. (laughs) True? (laughs) False. Right, actually, of course, you're a very well informed audience, I think. Actually, it is false. There's really no scientific evidence that children with dyslexia do have exceptional talents. Um, It's mainly anecdotal evidence, really. But having said that, there are very many highly successful people with with dyslexia. And we can all think of some, Richard Rogers, the great architect, um, Richard Branson, the entrepreneur, A.A. Gill, the journalist, and so on. People who've gone on to do very well indeed in life, who are nonetheless have dyslexia. But there's no reason to believe that people with dyslexia have any more talents than the general population. But certainly having dyslexia need not be a block to doing very well in life. Um, Statement number three, dyslexia is more common among boys than girls. True? Yes. Yeah, you'd be right. It is more common amongst boys than girls. And in fact, this is true of all sorts of specific learning difficulties, whether they're language problems, dyspraxic difficulties, attention problems, autism and so on. You do tend to get very many more boys than girls affected by specific learning difficulties. In the case of dyslexia, the ratio is something like four to five as many times as many boys as girls have dyslexia. And the final one is dyslexia is more common in left-handers. True? Mm. It's actually false. (laughs) You are a very well-informed audience, I must say. Uh, It is actually not true. The the epidemiological population studies have suggested that left-handedness is not associated with dyslexia. About 10% of children with dyslexia are left-handed, but that's the same percentage that you'd expect to find in a typical population. So, that's our quiz. So, just to conclude by saying, okay, so what is dyslexia? We know it's a specific learning difficulty. We know that it selectively impacts on progress in learning to read and spell. It's something that runs in families and we therefore think is largely genetically determined. And we also know from extensive research that it's a language-based disorder. And it's to do with children having problems in being able to analyse speech sounds in words. They can't easily break words into sounds. And as a result, they find it very hard to learn about phonics in reading. Because phonics come so hard to them, they have problems with reading and spelling. Now, in fact, dyslexia is a very specific condition, but it does commonly co-occur with other learning difficulties as well. It can co-occur with language problems, attention problems. It can co-occur with dyslexia.